Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install the free Spectra One theme. The Spectra One theme is designed by the same company who has designed the Astra theme. We will also see how to customize the Spectra One theme. There are different types of layouts that you can customize for your website. We will also see how to customize the header and footer section in the Spectra One. We are going to install the WooCommerce plugin and we will see if it is compatible with the WooCommerce plugin. When you install the WooCommerce, you will get templates for the WooCommerce plugin. So we will see how to customize different templates in the Spectra One theme. So when you install the Spectra One theme, it is going to ask you to install the Spectra Page Builder plugin. So I have already created many videos on Spectra Page Builder plugin. Just like the Hello theme in Elementor, you can use the Spectra One theme for the Spectra Page Builder. So let's see how we can install and use the Spectra One theme. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm going to install the Spectra One theme on this dummy website. Let's go to appearance and you will see that I'm already using the Astra theme on this website. I have already published many videos on how to use the Astra theme, how to customize the Astra theme. I'll give you links in the description box if you want to watch those videos. Now let's go to plugins. And I do have these plugins installed, the Spectra and the Spectra Pro plugin. So I'm going to delete these plugins for now and we will start from the scratch. I have also published many videos on how to use the Spectra page builder. I have also published a video on how to use the Spectra Pro plugin. While recording this video, the Spectra Pro plugin is free to download. I'll give you the link in the description box. This is the website from where you can download the Spectra Pro plugin. You just need to enter the name and the email address and you can download the Spectra Pro plugin. So I have deleted all the plugins. Let's go to appearance and we will change the theme. Let's click on add new and search for Spectra One. So you will see the Spectra One theme here. This is a free version. Click on install now and click on activate. So this is how it will look. It will ask you to install the Spectra plugin. That will be the free version of the Spectra Builder. So I'm going to install the Spectra Builder. Right, so it says the plugin is installed and we have the theme here. Let's go to the website and let's see how does this look. So this is how the layout of the home page will look. I have some Spectra block already on this page. So that's why it is showing the blog post and everything. So let's say this is the top part. The top part is nothing but the header of the website. And this is the footer of the website. We can customize these settings. So let's go back. We are on the dashboard. Now you do not see any customization option here. So you can go to the theme and when you go to theme, you will see the option customize. Click on customize. Under customization, you will see a different option, the templates and the template parts. If you go to template parts, you will see header and footer as well as sidebar. So this is the header. This is the footer. And if you have a side, if you want to create a sidebar, you can create a sidebar. So let's go back and here you will see templates click on templates now you will see different types of templates that you can customize for your website this one is 404 that will be for the error page the archive is nothing but the blog page where all the blog posts will be shown this will be the home page you can customize the home page okay if i click on home you will see let's go back index if i click on it you will see it is the list of the blog posts that I have on this website. And this will be for the single page, the layout of the single page. So here you will see the post title or the page title. Then we have the content and then we have the featured image. If you have any featured image for that particular page, you can show it here. So you can customize these settings. So we will go through that also. This is for the search page. This is for the single blog post. You will see post title. And then we have page sidebar. So you can customize the sidebar using the page sidebar. 
So as of now, we have these elements or the blocks in the sidebar. All right, so that's it. And here you will see manage all templates. If I click on it, you will see all the templates here. The same thing. Let's go back. And let's go to the dashboard of the website again. Let's go to settings and go to reading. Now here you can see that I have already created one home page and I have assigned that home page as the main page of the website. That's why it shows this one here. This is the home page. All right, so I can customize this page. If I want to customize it, I can go to edit page. Now look at the blocks that I have on the home page. I have one blog post, also post carousal. This is also the post carousal. These are the elements that I have already added on the home page. I can delete everything from here. I have published the videos on these elements, how to use the post carousal and the other elements. So I can delete these and I can create new. I can keep it blank, click update. Now if I go to pages, you will see all the pages here. On this website, I have one home page and one demo page. If I go to blog post, I already have some blog post here. So this is not a blank website. I'm just installing the Spectra one theme here. And under plugins, we have only the Spectra plugin. And let's try to customize the template parts. Let's start with the header. So we are on the header. And this is the header section. If you want to customize it, you can click on edit. Now we are editing the header section. It says edit your site, get started. So here you will see the logo. This is nothing but the logo for your website. So I can replace this one here. When I select this image, I'll see the option replace. I already have something in the media library, so I can use the logo from the media library. If you do not have it, you can upload it. So let's try this one. And you will see the logo here. So this is just an example, not the actual logo of the website. Now here we have a title, I guess, if I click here, you will see the settings of this particular label. Second label, third label, fourth label, just like this. And this is a button. Now, just like how you customize the blocks or the elements in WordPress editor, you can simply customize the layout using the blocks available on the WordPress editor. Let me show you. I'm going to delete everything from here. Here you will see the select row. This is the row actually. We have one column here and this is the second column. So I'm going to delete everything from here. Remove row. And here I want to add menu bar. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and search for menu. And you will see navigation here. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now it will show the menu bar. So this is the page list, the list of the pages which are available. If you want to create a new menu, you can click on it here. Click on create new menu. And from here you can create a new menu. So let's say I want to customize custom link. I want to add page links. So these will show the page link home. Then I want to add another page link that will be the demo page. Then I want to add custom link. So I'm going to click on custom link and let's name it as blog. Enter. So this will be a custom link. This will be the label here. You can add the URL of the label. So this will show the blog. Then I want to add, let's say custom link again. That will be donate. If I click on it, I want it to link to, let's say HTTPS column slash slash google.com so when someone clicks on it it will go to the google.com if you want to customize this you can simply go to customization and uh, from here you can customize the menu see this is the layout display if you want to hide it on the mobile you can hide it on the mobile tablet so these are the basic settings you need to play with the settings i have separate videos on all these blocks or the elements i'll give you a link in the description box if you want to watch those videos this is the text color 
background color if you want to change the background color you can change it from here size you can change the size just like this all right so we have got four different items in the menu bar so this is how you can customize the header if you want to add another item you can simply click on plus sign let's search for button and add the button single button drag it and drop it here and it will add the button if you want to customize it you can go to the customization let's close this one and here you can add the text on now say outline what kind of button you want this is how to look you can change the size now here you want to link your phone number so i can click on this link and add the phone number here so when someone clicks on it it will go to the phone number it will dial the phone number if i close it so this is how the header will look let's click on save let's go to spectra and if you want to add the scroll to top you can simply enable this option and it will add this scroll to top option on your website these are the global settings this is the header now if you want to use the palette or the style settings there are different types of style settings you can use click on browse styles let me show you again you can go here this is the option and from here you can select different types of styles for your website so currently this one is selected if you want to change it you can use this one and it is going to change the style so i'm going to keep it as it is the default one let's close this one we have it saved now let's go to the footer section and uh, let's change the footer you can you will see a drop down here you can go to drop down and from the drop down you can select footer if you want to manage all templates you can go to manage all templates and from here you can select footer customize it and here you will see the spectra logo you can replace it you can add your own logo if you want to upload it you can upload it now this is the text about your business you can change your text you can add your own text then we have social media icons i have a video on how to customize the social media icons this is nothing but the title and the labels you can customize them if you want to change the setting you can simply select that item and click here you will see the settings for that particular item in the right hand side so from here you can change the size the color settings for this particular item this is the paragraph paragraph this is nothing but the custom link at the bottom you have the copyright text if you want to change it you can simply change it so it is very easy to customize the layout you just need to go to that particular template and from there you can add your own items you can customize the items which are already there all right let's go to template kits and here if you want to use the template kits for your website you can use the template kits some of them are for the premium some of them are available for the free version so this these are nothing but the spectra template kits free template so here you can see free template so if you want to use free template you can use the free template you can simply click on it and you will see the preview of this template and here you will see different parts or the pages home page products page r&d contact and company page so let's go back if you want to use the templates you can use the templates let's close it we are back to the spectra template click here go to manage all template parts this is for the sidebar if you want to customize the sidebar you can customize the sidebar let's go back go back and let's go to templates and let's go to archive now archive is nothing but the page where all the blog post will be shown so i'm going to customize this one and i already have it you you will already see one archive of the blog post 
it is already there if you want to customize it you can select that one and here you will see the settings to customize it so actually it is using the template it is nothing but the query loop i have a video on how to use the loop builder in spectra you can watch that video so if you want to customize it you can customize it all right now let's click save manage all templates go back so these are all templates that you can customize in the spectra one theme now let's see if we install the woocommerce plugin will it work so i'm going to click on add new and i'm going to install the woocommerce plugin here click on install now let's click on activate all right let's skip the guide and we will do it later let's go back to dashboard we have got the woocommerce pages installed now let's go to the spectra themes and go to the customization again let's go to templates and now here you will see that some other templates are now added in the theme customization as we have installed the WooCommerce plugin on this website, the Spectra One theme has added some templates for the WooCommerce store. You can see single product template is available as well as we have products by attribute, products by categories, products by tag, and maybe we can have a shop page. You can customize the shop page layout using the product catalog. Now here you can see product search result template is also added. Let me go back to the website and let's see how does this look. All right, so we have got this header and then we have got footer. And let's try the shop page. We have installed the WooCommerce. This is how the shop page will look. Right now there are no products, so it's not going to show any product here. Here we have checkout. And we also have my account. That is a part of WooCommerce. And this is how my account page will look if you want to edit you can customize it all right so this is how the cart will look so once you add the products it will show the products in the cart so the spectra one theme is definitely compatible with the woocommerce store also so you can create your woocommerce store using the spectra one theme so it is very easy to customize the spectra one theme all you have to customize are the templates that are available for your website such as home page, index page, single page, single post, blog post. And if you are using WooCommerce, you will get templates for the WooCommerce store also. For the header and footer, you can use the template parts. From there, you can customize the header and footer section as well as the sidebar of your website. Just like the other WordPress website, you can add new pages, you can add new blog posts and it will be shown on the website. So overall, I think the free Spectra One theme is definitely a good theme to create any kind of WordPress website. There are templates, you can use the templates. You can also use the Spectra Page Builder plugin as well as the Spectra Pro plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you